So this is the um, conversion, just about done, with the uh, conversion from a, the two D EDS, which are gone and mounted on other projects. Here's one of them. It's going on a sky fund. But this is um, two of these little guys from Hobby King, uh, 1100 KVs, 100 and, well, 225 watts, uh, 8 by 6 props, uh, mounted stick style on the wing, which I've done on the uh, Raptor and the a um, couple other planes, including the Sky Fund. I put one, two, three on the Sky Fund. But I like the props. You get more longer flight times, much long, lower draw. They fly a little slower. You get the prop wash over the wing, especially in the flaps are down, which I like. Uh, flying with this with the EDS was just too much. Um, it was just exhausting. I got maybe five minute flights and that was it. So, but I like the airframe. I like the way it flies. So with this conversion, it's coming in much lighter. Shaved almost three quarters of a pound. So now I'm flying with a, a three cell 3300, which is gives me almost exactly one to one ratio, of the power and thrust to weight. Um, four cell, it just is ridiculous. It just it's like a like a rocket, too much. Um, but I got them back here, which allows me to put uh, the batteries back here, which allows me to put more gear up here. Because the big problem with the cite the citation jet or the turbo jet was the battery being up here was real easy to get nose heavy. You had to keep shoving it farther back, which then I'd run into the radio gear, which I got here. Um, the Guardian Gyro, by the way. Works great on this. Saved the day, actually. So, um, so flew it today. Made it um, flew just great. Little tail heavy, so I had to shove this a little bit further forward. Um, but which is fine because I knew I was going to put FPV gear in the front here. Um, right now, I just got um, an immersion 600 uh, milliwatt um, 5.8 with a little ready-made RC uh, Pico Pico camera with a wide field of view. And the uh, IB Crazy's Cloverleaf, and that's about four or five ounces of weight, including the support here, the wooden support uh, in the uh, cockpit here. And uh, so I just got video, and where I'm flying for now, it, I know exactly where I'm flying, so I don't need OST or. And uh, this will fly probably 15 minutes at um, low medium cruise throttle setting, so I can cruise around for a while, then later add the. Uh, uh, OSD and there's plenty of room for it up here now because there's no battery up here so I can put in the OSD I can even put um, 433 I got an extra 433 receiver I could put here put the aerial back here and um, co long distance with this um, no problem um, and so if this gets a little more nose heavy I can always move this battery further back right now this looks horrible because the pod's gone but I'm salvaging what's left of the pod slicing off the, the nacelles which for you citation jet owners, it sounds crazy, but um, uh, I've used them for other things. They've served their purpose, and a new one, a brand new one off of uh, Nitro Planes is eight bucks. So I'm going to slice off the nacelles and put what's left of the fuselage, and it'll just snap down here uh, with magnets here. Um, it'll be nice and tight, and it'll, be, it'll perfectly cover that battery. There's already a cavity for it. And then you got your battery compartment, which you can have probably eight inches of play to slide it back and forth, depending on the size of the battery and what kind of gear you have up here. So, and still be, um, I figure right now I'm at two pounds, 14 ounces with all this gear on it and a 3300 battery, which is about 15 minutes flight time, uh, or maybe a little longer. Um, with the other gear, probably pushing three pounds, four ounces, five ounces, that's about it. And that's well below what I was flying when I had the. Uh, the mercury alloy EDFs on it, and it flew it flew fine, just fast. So uh, right now it's real light, um, very light. Oops, there goes my pod, and um, which is what I was shooting for, and it just floats in real nice and easy. Um, the gear got banged up pretty bad, the stock, so I just got these little really oversized um, gear just to make this thing happen. I'll probably get something lighter and more like fiberglass because that aluminum alloy bends pretty easily on impact and after a couple of bends it snaps, it gets fatigue. Um, so that's that's it and it flies great and uh, tomorrow I'll try FPV and I'm ready to go. I'll give a, do a little uh, mile and a half FPV flight and see how that goes.